I can't introduce this one. I, I, I'll tell you a little story instead. <laughs> when I was three, and I can't remember how this came up in conversation, but at some point my mother mentioned that she couldn't watch or didn't finish a film that my father had recommended for her because it was too scary. Uh, and I, yeah, I remember this. She was crouching down on my level. Uh, she was telling me about it. And I said, I'll watch it, Mum. And she said, no, you won't. I said, no, no, I will. She said, no, you won't. You're three. It's an 18-rated film. And it was way too scary for me. I'm not letting you watch it. You'll have nightmares for weeks. I said, no, no, wait, Mother. Mother, hang on a minute. Listen. I said, Mum, what you've got to remember. <laughs> I just remember I'm three at this point. I said, what you've got to remember, Mother, is that it's a film. None of it is real. I'll be fine. She, I don't know how I convinced her of this. Did I convince her of it? Or was it just an excellent opportunity to teach me a lesson? And she said, okay, if you say so. And she let me watch this film. Um, I haven't got that many memories of my time as a three-year-old. It was a while ago. It's a bit hazy now. But a good percentage of my memories as a three-year-old are made up of the hour and ten running time, or whatever it is, of this particular movie. Um, by the time the film was finished, it was dark outside. And I had to go to bed immediately. I did a kind of a running leap onto the bed. I remember that. I wanted to avoid the gap under the bed because everybody knows that what lives under the bed is not to be messed with. Uh, I was trying to go to sleep and I saw the curtains. And the curtains feature quite heavily in this particular film as they do in any horror movie. But I knew that if I was going to go to sleep, I needed to, I needed to check these curtains out. So I got, <laughs> I got out of bed, went over to the curtains and ripped these things back. Like, I was going to catch whatever was back there, unawares. There was nothing back there, obviously. It was just... We'd gone from living in a city. We'd recently moved house. We'd gone from living in a city to living in the countryside where there are no street lamps and nothing. And what what greeted me, the other side of the curtains, was just the kind of blackness of the outside. Um, and I think... That, Personally, I think that was probably worse. You know how some people um, put their faces up to windows to look through? I mean, why would you do that? That's absolutely terrifying. What if there's somebody peering back at you? You're looking through a window, somebody looks back. That's terrifying. Anyway, that was the, so the, the windows was pretty much the last straw. So I went, I left my room, I went downstairs and I said to my mum, Mum, I can't do this. I can't sleep there. What if it gets me? Um, and of course she insisted that I needed to sleep in my room. It was my room. There was nothing in there. She knew there was nothing in there. So I remember that we had lots of cuddles and I was given some warm milk in a sippy cup. And after I had had that, she insisted I went back to my bed. And she had been right about the nightmares. I had nightmares for weeks and I have avoided this franchise ever since. Um, so while I can't introduce the, the game... <laughs> You'll work it out soon enough. While, you, while I can't introduce the game, suffice it enough to say that me and aliens have got history. Final report of the commercial starship Nostromo. Third officer reporting. The other members of the crew Kane, Lambert, Parker, Brett, Ash, and Captain Dallas are dead. Cargo and ship destroyed. I should reach the frontier in about six weeks. With a little luck, the network will pick me up. This is Ripley, last survivor of the Nostromo, signing off. I'm Samuels. I work for the company. It's about your mother. 
We think we may have found her, Amanda. A commercial vessel, the Anisadora, has recovered what we believe to be the flight recorder unit of the Nostromo. Where? Zeta Reticula. What did it tell you? We don't know. The unit was taken to Sevastopol Station. It's proprietorial material, so the company wants it to be collected as soon as possible. Sevastopol's a supply depot in the region. It's a, a permanent freeport. I facility. know what it is. Transit's arranged. There's a courier ship called the Torrens heading out that way in two days. We're going to travel out. We? Oui. Me and another exec. And you, if you're willing. Look, Ripley, when this job came across my desk, I read the case history. I know why you're working in the region where she went missing. You're still looking, aren't you? I've been cleared to offer you a place on the Torrance if you want to come along. Maybe there'll be some closure for you. Explore the torrents. Okay. Get dressed. I'm gonna make the assumption. Not that way, maybe. I'm gonna make the assumption that nothing awful is gonna happen just yet. Okay. So, is this us? No? Us. Maybe it is through here. Aha, right, no, this is definitely us. Number one? No. Number two? No. Where are they? You know, it was going to be so difficult just to find some clothing. Doesn't. Wet floor. Lovely. Ah, oh, this doesn't bear well. Or. Rest of us? Aha! Uh -huh. That's better. We've got some shoes on our feet. Objective complete. Get dressed. Hmm. Why are you beeping? It's November. Good. More than 100 years in the future. We should be safe then. <laughs> Use registration points to manually save your progress. They will warn you if enemies are nearby. Oh. You'll be then. You beep. Lane, corner. What else have we got? Us. Samuels. These are all the guys that we said was dead, yes? These haven't got any names on them. It's beating up this um, base station, isn't it? Where is everyone? Ah, Ripley. 
Samuels, did you wake up early? Well, I don't really need as much sleep as the rest of you. I was just inspecting the Torrens facilities, a well-maintained ship. I realize it's a very similar model to... The Nostromo. Yes, M-Class. A later pattern, but close in spec. Hold on. These sound settings are a bit weird. I've worked engineering jobs on ships like this. Of course. Is Taylor up yet? She's not a seasoned traveler. Hypersleep may have been punishing for her. Haven't seen her. I'll go check on her. Okay, sounds a bit better. So, the next objective is to speak to somebody. I wasn't really listening, I was, the, I was listening to the sound. I wasn't actually listening to what they said. Taylor? Is that who we need to go and speak to? Is that what we said? Is it this way? Oh, jeez. Oh, stop that. Scary at all, was it? This way? Yes. Taylor, good morning. Ripley, it's certainly not good. And I very much doubt it's morning either. Sorry. I feel like death. I don't know how you people put up with hypersleep regularly. You get used to it. I don't do long haul very often. Most legal execs don't travel further than the coffee machine. I'm surprised Wayland yutani felt the need to send legal at all. The loss of the Nostromo and its cargo cost the company a lot of money. It's important we find out what happened. If I can close the case with a conclusive accident report, it'll look great with my superiors. I'm sorry. That was insensitive. I realize your mother has been missing for 15 years and, and you... It's okay. We'll both get what we want, right? Have you seen Samuels? He's probably been up for hours. All personnel to the bridge. Approaching Sevastopol Station. Looks like we're up. I just saw this in the corner I wanted to have a look. Okay. Nostromo incident. To N. Taylor are reading the Nostromo incident. Well and Jutani file blah 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 blah. Hey, Taylor, I got your case request. It may take me a while to dig out the files, and the incident happened before my time at the company, so I'm a bit fuzzy on the details. In 2122, the Wayland yutani cargo vessel, the USCSS Nostromo, went missing. No trace was found of its cargo or crew. Apart from a new science officer, the rest of the crew had worked together before. Seven in all. Dallas, Ash, Kane, Ripley, Lambert. Okay. Uh... Yeah. Torrens manifest. Captain Verlaine Diane. Outbound and return transportation for Wayland Yutani retrieval team to Sevastopol Station. The team consists of three WY employees Samuels, C. Ripley, A. Taylor, M. Passengers Samuels, Christopher. Ripley, Amanda, Taylor, Nina. Dex 2, da, 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 da. communications antenna, long haul hypersleep chamber, commercial passenger cargo ship retrofitted from a tow rig, retains operational heavy duty tow umbilical. Stuff like umbilicals probably means, oh, umbilicals probably means that we are going to get um, an unwanted hanger on at some point. Usually, what these things mean. Ooh, brown flakes, porridge oats, corn flakes. Because, hey, this is cool. Biscuits. There's no biscuits left. 
What else have we got? Same thing on this side. Except this side's got hot sauce and the other side doesn't. Do you like some hot sauce in your porridge oats? Please order more of the above. <laughs> Someone's picky about their oats. Okay, so to the bridge, yeah? Ooh. I don't know what any of this is, but we'll take it. Find blueprints. Nope. Don't know. A little look. What about all this lot? No doubt that will come in handy later, or be explained later at the very least. So which way is the bridge? Is it this way? Presumably all these little symbols mean something, but I, I don't know what they are. Hope you all had a restful journey. Or the Torrens is in very good order for an old M-class captain. She was a wreck when I bought her. Took a few years and a lot of contracts to refit. She pays for herself now. You said we're approaching Sevastopol Station. Are we docking? I believe your contact is Marshal Waits, is that right? I'll hail Sevastopol and arrange boarding with him. Good. Let's get this done. Don't worry, Miss Taylor. Routine. In and out. Connor, how are we doing? RCMG loaded and calibrated. Approach vector locked. Prep comm so I can say hello. Channel open, Captain. Does everyone have their briefing documents? You can watch the approach on the monitors. Collect my briefing document. Where is it? Somewhere here? Yes. Can we see it? Switch to monitors. Sevastopol Station. Is that damage? It looks like damage. Punch up 74, tight angle. Looks like the dry dock bay is screwed. I can't bring the Torrens into that. This is the commercial vessel Torrens out of St. Clair, registration number MSV7760, calling Sevastopol traffic control. We're carrying three passengers on a whale and Utani Bond. You're holding the Nostromo flight recorder unit. We request immediate permission to transfer the passengers port side over. <laughs> Marshal? Mar Marshal, this is the Torrens. Say again. The station's comms seem pretty screwed up, so our fitted Samuel suit with a radio booster. I can only keep the Torrens in transit for 24 hours. You'll have heard from us by then. Safe trip. Stand by. My contract doesn't cover bloody spacewalks. It's the only option. And it's perfectly safe if you do what I tell you. Just shadow me, Taylor. You too, Samuels. Affirmative. Fuck happened here? My God, Ripley. You're doing good, Taylor. <laughs> Just keep moving! Okay. <laughs> 
Should we keep the suit on or should we change? Oh. Well, we are now completely without our colleagues who have just been more or less jettisoned off into space. That's a fate you wouldn't wish on anybody, honestly. Oh, dust. This looks encouraging. Yeah, let's save, shall we? Just you, okay. Oh, uh, down here. Oh, <laughs> my God. Ugh. enjoying any of this. doing either i'm not speaking very much but it's I, <laughs> i'm concentrating <laughs> folder corrupted shared decommissioning let's read that shall we so boys and girls you've probably heard the whispers about sevastopol by now and i can confirm it's official sevastopol is being decommissioned i will go over with each of you let's go down um what this means in regards to your contract and next placement for now we still have a job to do the suits want this done with a skeleton crew, which means we'll only be getting a few outside contractors to help. It does mean overtime. I recommend taking what you can while it's available. I should point out that, de that the decommission does not mean lucky dip. Everything here has to be accounted for, and I will personally escort anyone help, uh, found helping themselves to equipment to Marshal Waits, Chief. Oops. Go this way? No. I guess the only way is employees only. Why did you move? Why did you move? Ugh. I don't really want to have to use that. This will help. Oh, okay. What? One flare. Get out of the way. Oh, R to activate.
Why is there clicking? Oh my goodness. Someone new. Wait, someone you always know working Joe. What? I don't like the sneaking. I don't like the fact that we can't run. I'll do. Go up. Please, nothing grab my leg. Oh my god. Surely we want to shut that up, right? I think we're in a permanent crouch. No, we're not. Okay. No, nothing. I barely believe oh. I'm actually playing this game. Anyone here? Yeah, she's petrified. Oh. ceiling up there. Actually shaking. Let's just save. <laughs> Nothing's happened so far, but I'm absolutely bricking it. Oh, yes. Beep, beep, beep. Langley, if you're looking for our stash, I've moved it. You left it right out in the open where anyone could have taken it. Jesus, do you know what I had to do to get it? I've hidden it in one of the storerooms. You should be able to find it. The code is 0340. Right. Remember that? Don't worry, no one goes down to the terminal anymore. Not after what happened. Also, we're out of meds and low on water, so you're going to need to get some. It's your turn. Maybe it'll teach you to take care of your stuff in future. Anna. Chad. Goodbye from Siegson. Uh, decommissioning of Sevastopol Station. We've had a long journey together, but sadly it's coming to an end. Siegson Corp would like to take this opportunity to thank all of you who worked and lived at Sevastopol over the years and hopes that Siegson has helped to make it a productive and rewarding environment. Our investment and belief in the station has never wavered. Be assured that Siegson's Apollo Central AI and working Joe androids will be there to serve Sevastopol until the last rivet is removed. We wish you all the very best for the future. After all, Sevastopol isn't just a station, it's people. Ooh. Oh, okay. So that button does that, does it? Cool. Kill the power. <laughs> okay. Harris, Turner, get back in now. We have a track somewhere in engineering. Lock the terminal down, kill the power, and don't forget your reports. Make them thorough. We're going to need our people to be bulletproof when the shit is over. Okay. I'm not going to listen to it. It's just going to make me more scared. Restore power to... Yes. Let's do that. Guys? Is this... When we first see what's it? The, the alien? Because you know it's going to show up at some point. Can we can we shut that door again then? Nope, not that button. Look at 
we're going this way as well, right? What's that? Oh, okay. Why can't we... That one. Press the button. No? Okay. Baggage transit then. Oh no, we've just been this way. Oh, I'm getting myself all turned around. Are we really going to have to go over here? Okay. Don't know what we can create with all of that, but... Uh, what was it? Oh, oh gosh. Is that it? Yes. Don't know what that did, but okay. Ooh. Etiquette. Is this safe? Relatively. Okay. Um. Oh my gosh, this is confusing. Okay, so we need one of them, one of them, one of them, and then we can craft the item. Hold R to activate. Do I really need to? Because I've got like quite a bit of health. Um, okay, just a little bit stuck here now. Is there a door back there? Yes. We just save, just in case. where I can hear footsteps that are not my own. like that. Alright. Ow! Hey! I suppose I did walk straight through that. I can definitely hear thumping. What the hell happened here? I don't like it when the music comes in, oh my gosh. You're from the upper floor. From there? This life for rent? What? No entry? maintenance. Nope, can't go over there. What? Confused then. It's like the airport. How do I get over there then? 
I meant to go up those stairs. But I am. In totally the wrong direction. Wait, lied to us. What? You're locked. Nostromo. Yeah, that's what we want. Ion torch required. What can I hear breathing? Viewing binoculars. The torrents. I'm here. I'm right here. We're lame. No, no. Damn it. This is a rec room. For sort. Sorry, I don't think that was open last time. Should I go through? Zoe, I'm sorry, but I won't need you to come in next week. Oh dear. As you know, the store's been in trouble for some time now, and I couldn't hold off the creditors any longer. There's just no one coming to Sevastopol anymore. It's not just us, either. It sounds like the whole station is in the red, and they're pulling the plug. Going to sell it off for scrap, I guess. I was speaking to one of the engineers, and he reckons they'll announce it soon. I'm telling you this so that you don't stick around looking for another job. Sevastopol's finished. Time to move on. Harper. To all space flight employees to all spaceflight terminal employees in the interest of public safety and the prevention of panic it must be made clear to all potential passengers that there are currently no scheduled flights leaving sevastopol nor ships available the colonial marshals are investigating problems on station and will update accordingly in the office of marshal waits oops what is apollo Apollo is the central AI that monitors and provides guidance to all seekers and working Joes on Sevastopol. Apollo also oversees all communications on the station, so wherever you are, you know you're in safe hands. Seekers and tomorrow together. Okay. You safe? Again, not much has happened.
We still gotta, don't go that way just yet. Now we go in there, yeah? In here? No. Where do I go then? I doubt it's this because it's red. Iron torch. I don't have an iron torch, do I? Hmm. Bit confused. What do I do? Go back to departures? I am confused. Strangers will be shot. Oh, that's nice. I haven't actually tried. We meant to crawl through a gap or something? No? Is this where our alien adventure ends? A bit confusing. Maybe I'm just being stupid. Probably I'm just being stupid. Really? With money? Wow, okay. I'm not that high tech after all. In the baggage room? Help. We? No, not in there. Well, I am confused then. Channel frequency. Unless it's literally here. No? minutes.
We don't like that. Don't like that at all. I definitely feel like something was in here just a second ago. I'm out. Now where are we? This whole damn place is falling apart. Mm-hmm. Meant to go around here or up ooh. Use. 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 What? Is it to hide behind? It is. Alright. Why is it teaching me that? Stuck again. Right here. Nope. sitting duck in here. Why have they given us these peak holes that we can see out of? It's definitely to show us something. I'm now getting quite <laughs> nervous. I mean, obviously it's not just only now, but now more than before. You good on here? No. under my uh, no, big drainage pipe. <gasps> oh! oh my god! Woman! She gasped! I gasped! Oh. Right, but they went that way, so presumably we can go that way. Should we not just be chasing them down? Heck. Beepity beep. Lots of dead bodies. That's not good. Just knock something over. Oops. Unclaimed package. encouraging. Beep. Boop. Beep. Boop. Those are little things. I'm leaning back in my chair for quite a lot of this, by the way. Oh, 
Absolutely, we can hear it clanging about in the pipes. We all know what it is by this point. It's just, when is it going to get me? That's the question. Maintenance jack required. We don't have any of this. I think when we get to an hour, I'm probably going to um, call this part one. Because I'm not going to be able to get through it in one sitting. Forget it. I mean, nothing's happened so far. I'm already bricking it. Yep, don't put your face to gaps and windows and stuff. Torch again. Oh dear. Oh dear, son. That doesn't look good. Stop making hissy noises. I'm just admiring the uh, handiwork. He's got a rifle as well in there. Plasma torch. Don't tell me we should have already picked this up. It's there somewhere in the world and I've just got to find it. And I've walked straight past. A shoe. Old mattress. Do they not give people um, proper accommodations? Why are they sleeping on mattresses? torches they keep calling it. Uh, am I actually genuinely that blind? Should I be getting it out of one of these things? I mean, that lot in there looks really useful. Yeah, see, we can't go any further. We do need... floor. Um, okay. I think that I might actually just call it here. Um, clearly I need to go and uh, look some stuff up. How do we get past this point? Where should we pick up the plasma cutter? Or the, the ion torch. That sort of stuff. So, for now, I'm going to say thank you very much for watching. Um, nothing much has happened so far, for which I'm kind of grateful. We're just really getting the taste of the story. Um, <laughs> but, I mean, we've had a couple of scares. Like, one scare. <laughs> um, I, I'm not sure if I'm invested in this yet, but I think that's mainly because of the... Uh, the childhood trauma that we are revisiting in this run through um if you would like to see more then please leave a like please let me know in the comments how you feel about it um and i hope to see you all again in the next one